Oh, I'm live. Let's get some thread heads up in this biatch. I think that worked. <laughs> oh, wow. Hey, it's, it's my cousin. What's up? What's up? That's a shout out to you before the show gets started. How the hell are you? Or maybe you already left. Maybe you saw the Oh, yeah, she left. That's okay, though. She'll be back. Fucking shout out to the... Fuck this shit for the goddamn styrofoam cups. Ice is fucking great, but... Styrofoam cups, like, fucking 2021. Okay. You joined. Oh, here we go. Maybe that's what I did. Yeah. Why won't that work? Yeah, you need to be in the video. Why is he unable to join? What's the deal? Why aren't you joining? Try sending it again. Invite. Maybe that'll work. Oh, shit. Oh, here we go. What up, fucking Sharpie? Yeah, hold on. Uh-huh. There he is. What's up, dude? What up? What up? How are we all doing? Oh, good, man. How you doing? In pain. Yeah. Can you can you smoke out of that yet? Okay, out of this? Yeah. Yeah, that's how I felt the other day. Like the fucking that lady. Remember that commercial? She just quit smoking. That one, dude. I, I, I mean, she just she doesn't stop there, dude. That's like a lady you can blow off all of her limbs and say like, "Don't be around grenade." She'll just sit on one. Yeah, I mean, I, I might, you know, maybe. Yeah. yeah, I could be there one day, man. And uh, but I, I make it cool. I, I find a way to make that pretty fucking cool. Yeah. Well, uh, ready to start this show since it's already kind of restarted. Cool. Well, welcome to the Fifty Man's Pro Wrestling Podcast. Mm -hmm. I'm your host, Rusty Fucking Diamond. Thanks for stealing that Nick Gage, you little bitch. Yeah, as I was starting this morning, man, I, I had my chip <laughs> over here, I'm ready, and I'm with my uh, broken, uh, not as broken as we thought, co-host. Gee, yeah, that's me, yeah, no, uh, I'll explain everything in just a second. I seriously just woke up, I am like wiping oh. the sleep out of my eyes still and trying to dampen my lighting so it's not so harsh on me, and just took my breakfast, which was a bunch of medication due to the surgery for on Friday, but uh yeah, no, uh, it hurts. I can tell you that. It hurts. Um, yeah. So today I have to take the bandage off, as you can see. So I get to leave it open for about a week and a half. And then I go see the physician assistant, and then they, like, check it out and see how good it is. And then uh, as long as it's closing up well, no infection, then four weeks from then, I go in for x-rays to see if it's fusing. Oh, when is all that? Uh huh? What's that? When do you go in for an X-ray? Like in about five and a half weeks. Okay. All right. So, still hard to swallow, so I'm still doing like liquid stuff. I did do a sandwich. That was uh. Oof. Mm, yeah, that was agony. So lots of drinks, uh, lots of medication. So, uh, my morning just started with a handful of pills because I gotta make sure this is uh not a. The pain rage. Yeah, I mean, it sounds like Westland, man. Waking up, fucking drinking, having a bunch of pills, and... <laughs> Breakfast of champions, man. Fuck yeah, dude. Wife looks at me, she goes, no, that's a cocktail. And I was just like, uh, and I'm, I haven't eaten either, so it's, uh, it's going to be an interesting show. So if you see me wander off, that's because I'm just, yeah. It's been a it's been a hazy few days. I so, bet. Well, what this day? Oh, five, yeah. It's been, so it's been five days. Yeah, today will be five days. So I went in at 7.30 Friday morning under the knife. Um, barely remember that day. Barely remember. 
We FaceTimed so, him. Yes, we did. Yes, we yeah. did. Yeah. Um, and then I FaceTimed with the fam and everything, too. And just, I was very out of it. And then the next day came pain, which is in the neck and the shoulders. Um, I had to get a breathing tube because of asthma. So they put that down there. So that kind of hurt uh, a little while yeah. after all that stuff. And, uh, but, uh, no, they hooked me up with a lot of meds. <laughs> so I, uh, like, oh, here, that's a lot. A lot of stool softener. A lot of stool softener. Yeah, that was yeah, that was the part I fucking hated the most about that shit, man. Like instead of like you gotta hear about my poop now. So instead of me waking up going poop, I like had to wait till like like five, six hours after I woke up to poop and it was just it was too much, man. I don't like that. I I don't well, like what sucks is I can't do any straining because of my neck. Oh, so you can't strain your butt while you're, or else you're able to look at your neck. Because the neck. No, I may mean, have to break down things. now in life. And uh, my wife talks about these, uh, this, the squatty potties. Oh, dude, I have one. Or you don't have to buy you the actual. One. I, I, it doesn't surprise me you have a squatty potty. I have a squatty potty and fucking bidet. So. Steve O, Steve O rages about the squatty potty on his show. It's pretty nice, especially like, like if you if you can't poop. Like if uh, if you've been taking opioids, like I used it when I was uh, on all those fucking uh, whatever. It just make, it makes me tired for yep. sure. And just oh, they gave me Flexerol as well. That oh yeah, mm. those are yep. That was part of my breakfast this morning. That was great. So yep. anyway, yeah, that's the little one in the back. She's yep. all talking. What's up, D? So uh, I don't really have a format this week because I wasn't planning on talking. Well, so I was planning, I was planning a whole lot of science, so I figure we can uh, freestyle it this week. No, I don't know if Rob will jump in or not. I haven't seen Rob um, talk to him briefly this morning. But um, otherwise, I haven't watched much wrestling either. Did you so watch? That's where I've been. So tonight's going to be a lot of catching up. I'm going to watch AEW for sure. Did you, you watch last week? Um, okay. was last week the one where they came out with the purple bandanas on the Dark Order? That might have been, oh, uh, maybe they did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I watched most of it then. Uh, and then what was the main event? Oh, no, I didn't, because I had Hoovy and Jericho. I haven't got caught up with that one yet. Oh, you yeah. said something about yeah. Hoovy. Yeah. So why don't you explain the Hoovy part? Man, it looks like he hasn't worked for longer than I haven't worked. Um... He looks like he looked like my name uh, in the ring. Did he have the mask on? No. Or wait, no. I looks. I was watching the uh, Sammy Sammy Ball vlog, and uh, he wasn't wearing a mask in that. So I don't remember if he was wearing a mask in the match or not. Um, but I, I watched that show too, the Sammy vlog, because. You know, I don't know. But I also got, uh, I didn't learn, I didn't know why I didn't know this, how um, how white AEW is with people. Uh, how how people, white, how many white people there are in there. Uh, it's pretty. Uh, I thought it was a pretty diverse group. Yeah. Because you got a private party, you got Miro, um, you got a. I call him Pentagon Junior. So I'm still. How many of them are featured? It's kind of, I guess. Yeah, I guess you got a point. I didn't. I didn't realize it until this week, and I was just like, "Oh damn!" Like, it's. I mean, but I, like, I don't. It doesn't like. Whatever. That's not a big thing to me because I'm white, you know. Whatever. <laughs> but like, um, I don't know, man. It doesn't like. I didn't really notice it, and I. I got Sammy up there. What? Yeah, Sammy. Oh yeah. Well, he looks white, but he's. No, he does not. He he looks like uh. What what do you what do you think he looks like? Would you say he's he's brown? I can't say anything for him. Is he's not like Eddie Kingston looking like the uh, what's this face? Uh, a Puerto Rican Tom Sizemore. Oh, that's right. Yeah, Eddie Kingston looks like a Puerto Rican Tom Sizemore. Yeah. 
That's pretty true. A silver, a silver Tom Sizemore. Yeah. Sorry. That, that's I should a, point that one out. Yeah. A silver one. Well, because they had that show. It, I think it was Sober House, like with Dr. Drew. And um, was he was on it. What? Who was on the show with Dr. Drew? I don't remember. It was like probably like 10, 15 years ago. And he was on it, and he was with uh, with Heidi Fleiss. Like, I guess they were – do you know who Heidi Fleiss is? She was like the – Heard the name. She was like the uh, – Yeah, I, Adam, I, 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 I got one of them computers in front of me. I'm going to okay. use one of those real quick. <laughs> yeah, she, was, she was like the, uh, the, the pimp uh, to all these uh, hoes out in Hollywood for all the uh, – like Hollywood people and like she had a big list and it got confiscated like a big journal thing. But those two were together. I think they, they were doing a lot of math together, allegedly um, those two. But I mean, it was, I could be, what was the name? You said Heidi Fife? Heidi Fleiss. F L E S S. Man, I can't spell it in. So oh, right. and I'm probably not too much. Um, Ben Sir. Oh, I've seen. Okay, yeah. Yeah. She's a doper. You what? She's a doper. Yeah. 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 <laughs> like you just see the face. You're like that. That's hit that crack pipe a few times. Yeah. Yeah. Yikes. Oh, so here's one we can go down a rabbit hole on, dude. Is uh, NXT. Okay. Looks to me like they're getting rid of NXT. Really. Oh, uh, they fired Bronson Reed and Bobby Fish. I released them. both of those. Those two. I don't know why Bronson Reed. Uh, what do you mean? Why? Bronson Reed was getting the push. Was he? But so was Keith. Yeah. Keith. yeah, I don't know what they're doing with Keith Lee. I, I that's so, like this weird like torture thing they're doing with Keith Lee. Yeah, like they're making them like one of the worst weird jobbers ever. Yeah. No, NXT, man, they're cutting a bunch of people out of there. I guess Vince went down there and he said he used the term midget. Because, you know, he's been so, and he can say the N word, he can say midget, he can say anything and get away with it. Because then he, all he has to do is turn around and go, well, that was Vince McMahon, the character, not the person. <laughs> like, he can get away with it anytime he wants. That's amazing. He figured out the system. It is. It's, it's pretty fucking great, man. Like, if you figure out the system, you can't hate on it, dude. Um, I, I was seeing this thing this morning, this guy in uh, somewhere in Texas. I forgot where. But he um, – this – these pe- – like the a mortgage company closed – like not closed, but um, like took over this people's house that didn't pay their shit. And so they kicked them out. But then – some squatter came in, and um, and then the mortgage company went out of business. So the guy just had to pay like this sixteen dollar filing fee, and he the home. and he owns the home. And the, after like three years, it's like totally his. It's, like, uh, right now, it's all those holes out there, man, and you just let things sit there, especially in those ghetto areas. Yeah, like man. You can just go in there and just take a few houses for like a few thousand dollars. Yeah. And I very little, little. less probably I mean, you don't have to pay shit. <laughs> you can just you just go there and you know, possessions nine tenths the law. You know, that's a pretty true fucking statement. And it's weird that you can do that. Like so I guess these people that did own it or the bank could like file something, but they'd have to file it through a few different different things and um it would be like way too much of a hassle but probably just this guy's just gonna have the house just take over and, the house. <laughs> but, and he's homeless and he figured out how to do that but yeah that's his dream. and i mean that's that's the american dream if, if it's not the american dream of squatting and taking over a house i mean what really is the american dream san francisco yeah right is that like the new flint now and they, and they poop out on the street yeah but no um so, I think, uh, so, oh, yes, back to Vince using the term midgets, man. So, he says he doesn't want any more midget wrestling. 
So I didn't look at all the releases and I didn't look at their stature or like, you know, how much they weighed, height, whatever you want to look at. But uh, to me, it feels like he's going to break it down to make it more developmental again. Yeah. It got too big for its own boots and uh, I think it's going to bring it down or not. Well, I think it probably would have been fine if he didn't have to get his fucking hands on it. It seemed to be doing fine before he was, he got it on it. And uh, then it just locked. It became, it became the th the third show. It became the uh, 2008 e ECW. See, that's the problem when you say guys are going to go from NXT to the main roster. Like, are they really going from NXT to the main roster? They're going from a, another main roster show to another main roster show. Right. And that's why these are up yeah. and coming guys. These are guys that are coming out the indies that are known for for years. Yeah. And, and it's, I don't know, and it's a mess with Adam Cole, it looks like. Yeah, it'll be interesting. I mean, I, I assume he'll be leaving there soon. Um, he didn't sign a big contract to extend or anything, so yeah, I figured it's the same. I mean, yeah, it's, I mean, you look at it and you probably, I don't know, I don't know how they're going to do the with the second show starting up this week on Friday. Um, I forgot what it's called. Oh, Rampage, right? Yeah, and I, so I don't know if the guys are going to be on, like it was going to be a split thing, half the guys on one show, half on the other. Or now, is that in the Chicago? No, this one is in uh, Britsburg. Uh, that's Where the hell is Britsburg? Pittsburgh, it's, it's the Brit Bay. Oh, Pittsburgh, I think it's a Britsburgh. I was <laughs> like, man, that's a place between England and Germany, right? Yeah, that, that's where uh, Britt Baker's from, so she calls it Brittsburg. Oh, gotcha, 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 gotcha. <laughs> yeah. Um, She'll have the big uh, ovation. Yeah, and so, yeah, I think the um, thing in Chicago is in early September. It's like in like a month or so. Gotcha, gotcha. But, I mean, who knows what's going to happen on Friday. I'm driving to Idaho slash Oregon on Friday, and I – think I'm going to have my girlfriend drive so I can, if we're leaving later in the day, so I can watch that. Because I feel like you can't watch that one later because I'm going to miss some, there's going to be some big thing that'll happen. Um, you think so? Yep. I think so. I mean, it's their first show. I mean, why wouldn't you have something big happen or have, have a new title, someone win a title? Um, and it's I, only an hour? Is, it, is that right? Is it one I, hour show? I don't know. Let me see runtime. That's kind of cool if it's only an hour show. I do like that. Man, that would go back to the old times of wrestling, dude. Where See, it is. Running time is only 16 minutes for Rampage. Cool. So that will be interesting. But that was the problem back in the day with shows is that an hour wasn't enough. Three hours is way too much. Two hours is all right. I think an hour and a half would I get an hour and a half about the right amount of time. Like, I, I would, if I was going to a wrestling show, I'd want it to be about that time. Maybe a little bit longer. How much you're putting promos into it, though? How much wrestling to, you know, how much talking? Yeah. Well, I don't know. I mean, like, how long can wrestling fans really watch before they are bored? I mean, it depends um, on the wrestling fan you are. I could watch for hours and not and be pretty not bored, but. Oh wait, I did watch. I watched part of Raw. I remember it was just as as these cool kids say nowadays, cringy. It was but, uh, uh, arcade. It was terrible. I watched. Was it, um, is it Retribution? That sounds like a name. Yeah, the what they used to be. It's uh, T Bar and Mace. <laughs> used to look them up. Look up T Bar and Mace. One of them was a commentator for like a couple nights, and the other one's uh, Dokovic or whatever, who was fighting Keith Lee in NXT. Oh, he's that guy, and they just put face paint on. They look like broken GI Joes. Oh, or it looks like GI Joes met Mad Max and they had a baby. That's probably what they were thinking. Really bad, really bad, like way of doing it. It's just horrible. Yeah, yeah, I couldn't get like. Into that, uh, I, I don't know. I still can't. I, yeah, I don't know. I can't get into it. And I saw that uh, Orton because it wasn't Matt Riddle. So that 
You see What's that? Orton turned on Riddle. Is it a turn? Oh, I don't know. I, I saw the... Is it now, is, now is it time for uh, Riddle to tap back, and then Orton's going to be like, there you go. Now now, now you're doing what you need to be doing, kid. And say something like that. He's, he wants Riddle to break out of the... Bro, I can't take it, man. I, oh, yeah. it'll, it'll be good for you. I don't know. Ending his uh, WWE career would be good. Yeah. Yeah. Get him back into... <clears throat> He annoys everybody. Yeah. In the back, I really. So now, yeah, now he's against Orton. He's got to be sweating because the last six guys that were around Orton are all gone. Yeah. It's like so. I don't know, man. Orton's. Yep. Uh, oh, you know what? We got to talk about, dude. I cannot believe we forgot this. I got an excuse though because I'm on medication for my doctor. <laughs> so I, I got the. Excuse. I'm on. What? Beautiful, beautiful Bobby Eaton has passed away. Oh, yeah. That sucks. And <clears throat> sorry, everyone. Sorry, 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 sorry. Oh, oh, oh. that hurts. Um, yeah, for everyone who doesn't know um, who is watching out there, uh, Bobby passed away a few days ago. And uh, he was a, one of the guys in the business that you saw in the ring if at a later part of his career, you probably didn't think much of. But he uh, he was one one of the best tag teams ever. He was uh, a guy who probably trained more guys than anybody else knows under just tutelage, just on the side, just helping out. You hear guys like Steve Austin, man. Steve Austin raves about Bobby. He just goes off. About him. Um, I tried, I tried, and I don't know. Maybe my wife felt the same way. Um, actually, I think I walked into the room, and uh, Corny's podcast was on, Jim Cornette's podcast. Yeah. He was crying, man, and that was – it's hard to listen to stuff like that, especially when I'm around the family because if it does choke me up, I don't want to be all like, what the hell, man? So I just I, – I try to do around corners, but, uh, yeah, it was hard to listen to. I had to turn it off before I listened to it later on. But, yeah, this guy, man, he's been around for a long time. He's associated and related to so many things, but a lot of the new fans don't know. Yeah. You know, a lot of fans don't realize how much Bobby Eaton was a part of wrestling. I mean... I mean, how many flips can he do? How many flips can Bobby Eaton do? <laughs> how, how, how many false finishes? How many super kicks, kicks can Bobby Eaton do? That's what I want to know. Now, what was the story? I don't want to get dark into what just happened with him, but you said he fell down. I fell down. Or Bobby Ian fell down like last month and wasn't doing good. Oh yeah, yeah. Is that what happened? Yeah. I think something like that. Well, you got to get dark now. You said you're going to get dark. I well, we're we're kind of talking in depth about his his death, his last days. Yeah, I usually try not to because there's a few superstars out there and legends, man. That <clears throat> when they start going downhill, yeah, man, it's rough. Uh, Bobby Heenan, that's one of them. When he went downhill, I saw a picture of him when it yeah. wasn't at his best, man. Oh, I mean, we we were talking. We we're like, when's this gonna happen? When's he? When's he fucking gonna die? Like, and it's I, saw I mean. It's when I saw a picture of Heenan, he looked like one of the MLB players who had done too much uh, chewing and shit, dude. Yeah. Like, that's remind me of first, and someone was like, no, dude, that's Heenan. And I was like, no. And it, dude. Yeah. That was. You know, I always. No, oh, go ahead. Sorry. No, that's a hard one to watch, man, because you knew it was going to happen. It's like, how. I don't know how he stayed alive as long as he did. Like, that must have been fucking hell. Especially, I mean, with him being one of the best talkers in the world of all time i would say i'd say oh, oh easy easy you could put that with any any category of people anywhere i think he would i mean definitely the top 100 of all time no problem who heenan yeah top 10. Of, of, of all time of every single person not just wrestling oh yeah yeah i mean 100 seemed pretty fucking and the main reason is because I hated him so much when I was a kid. Good when job. I was a kid, I, when he was on TV, I was like, fuck this guy. Like, he does, he's ruining my show. <laughs> when as I got older, I was like, this guy is fucking a genius. 
Yeah, he's this is when I start show. attaching myself. What's that? He's ruining my show. He's fucking doing pretty damn good, man. And he would get himself in some predicaments. Remember the one with him and, uh, and we'll get back to Ian in a moment. The one with him and uh, Mr. Perfect, and they're on, I think it's prime time. And all of a sudden, he starts slapping, uh, what is it? Or he slaps Mr. Perfect on the show, and Perfect gets pissed. And then there's the one with uh, Andre in the ring, where he's trying to paintbrush Bobby, but he doesn't want to hurt Bobby. Yeah. So, man, every time I say Bobby, I feel like fucking Hank Hill right now. Bobby? (laughs) Bobby? Bobby? Um, he would paintbrush him, but he didn't want to hit Bobby in the face, so it was so far away it looked ridiculous when he was in the ring when they did the breakup. Well, then that must be a good thing for him um, to have. Because... Uh, you look like you're looking around and someone's about to burglarize your place. Oh, no, I, I have... Uh, I got a dude working here. Um... For my eBay stuff. Nice, nice, so nice. I got, I got someone, finally. Uh, but, yeah, it was good. I, uh, I'm, Yeah, he's killing it, so I'm happy. But I'm still, I'm looking for a place here. I need to get an office. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I got to get a little warehouse going, man. It's crammed here. It's been hot. We got a heat wave. Oh, yeah. A hundred and something. Oh, shit. Here's uh, again. seven to- I think where we're going. Oh. Whoa, my phone just went all crazy. Hold on a second here. Oh, good. Usually when that happens, there's always bad news in wrestling. Everyone, like, starts messaging me. I'm like, hold on, hold on. So I'm looking at pictures. Do you remember the little gimmick he had with uh, William Regal, Bobby Eaton? And there were the what what blue, they, blood? blue Bloods or something? Blue Bloods. That was a great. I forgot that was Bobby Eaton. Yeah, Bobby Eaton. And then they had David Taylor. Okay. David Taylor. Yeah. It's really yeah, hard to, to like, hear saying Bobby Eaton, and it sounds so much like Bobby Heenan. It's really fucking Eaton. weird. Eaton. But I, I, don't, I don't say, like, a hard T. Like, I, I, it's, like, Eaton. And it sounds like... I speak all fucked up. Dude. My, I have mutt language. Yeah? My language is mutt because, yeah, it's... Had a British accent and then like traveled to a few different places and I didn't pick up any fucking languages from them. I was too young, but now here and then, oh, I forgot to tell you. So if I do speak weird, when I was getting surgery and they put me under, when I woke up, my tongue was all fucked up. Oh, I think they had to get because they had a stick of breathing tube down me. I think they had to get the fucking those uh, they're like tong plier, uh. Things and they clamp them around my tongue so I didn't do anything. And I got a big fucking hematoma on my tongue. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. Almost sounds like I could have fucking stroked out during my surgery, which my doctor comes in and she's all like, everything went great. And I was like, excellent. She's like, yeah, I'll be on call for tomorrow. She's like, three of my uh, surgeries had strokes today. And I was like, I want to leave. I yeah. want to leave. Yeah, right? But, no, um, yeah, I think this week, because I, I got some sit-down time, I got to let my uh, neck rest set and everything, let all the hardware go. I'm going to bust out some Bobby Eaton and WCW. So I'm watch some of that and kind of go backwards, listen to some Jim Cornette, sh- share some stories. And then, uh, yeah, man, I hate to say this, but they come in three. Yeah, well, uh, Trevor Moore, were you a uh, Whitest Kids You Know fan? Were you into that show at all? What is it called? The Whitest Kids You Know? No. Oh, dude, man, you got to you gotta watch that. Um, so the guy, there was a, it's like a improv troupe, like five guys, and they're maybe a, couple, a year or two older than us. But this good, good shit, man. Like, um, man, I'll, I'll send you, I'll send you some stuff. Uh, there was like maybe five seasons of it, but it was like on like, you know, IFC or some shit. So like, no one really ever. What is IFC again? <laughs> Sorry, folks. I don't watch. 
TV anymore. I'm yeah, on one of those old this, this was on like over ten years ago, at least probably. Um, yeah. But yeah, dude, I'll I'll send you some shit. But yeah, so the guy, one of the five guys, yeah, he was like the main dude, died uh, a couple days ago, and that was one that like hit me, and I'm like, this is weird. I don't know why that's this is hitting me like this. But um, that one was. I was way into that show. That dude's pretty funny, dude. Um, but he's dead. So is that two then? What? So that would be two guys. So then there's a third coming. That's two, yeah. I'm I'm trying to, yeah. I don't think anyone else has, and I hope they don't. Um, well, let's get on to better news. And cool. That is, man, AEW is the show to watch. And I'm pumped for tonight. Yeah, well, I mean, well so... Jericho, so I don't know if I want to tell you what Jericho's doing then this week. Wardlow. Yeah. Okay, yeah. MJF, the referee. I saw those that part. Cool. That's that's the part. Uh, yeah. Also, so on Dark, uh, AEW uh, had – I don't want to give this don't guy credit. Really well, okay. Well, one of the dudes, this dude uh, – He's kind of a piece of shit from the Northwest. They put him on the show, and he's the dude that kind of got away with calling someone a couple things, a couple different slurs. It's pretty funny. Oh, he was on the show. Not, then, uh, not the dude defending him, but the dude who had oh, yeah. the stuff. Oh, yeah. um, he, he was on the show last night, and I was like, oh, motherfucker. He wrestled uh, Darby. And then, because it's like they're both from when when uh, dude hasn't liked me since like so them two they work together like they ride together and shit. I thought they were a couple, and once I said that to them, uh, they don't liked me really since then because I don't know it was an honest mistake. They were dude was yeah, like that's the problem. Everyone does that these days as long as the state. It's the, it's the crowd, the, the sensitive crowd. Yeah. And it's like, I don't know. You guys seem like you were – I mean, maybe that's a good thing for you too, but, like, you know, it's a compliment. I don't know. But um, – I just saw something that I'm doing on the screen. I yep. just want to make it clear I'm not winking at you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Good. My throat's still swollen from the surgery, so every time I swallow, I'm trying not to go like this every single time, looking like Jackie Wuhan. I'm, like, just kind of like that. So, okay. yeah, you see me do that, I'm not like, hey. Oh. That's just still going on. I haven't moved to solid food yet, sort of, kind of. You what? To... Oh, trying to move to solid foods. Oh, okay, the solid foods. I think it's said solid food. Uh, Maybe that. Yeah. Um, well, hey, keep everyone occupied. I got to go for that second coffee. Otherwise, by the time that flex roll kicks in, I'll be snoring one cool. second. Well, then, so uh, welcome to the Rusty Diamond Show. This is the show within a show inside of the Figure Man for Us podcast where I look at one of my cats that's sitting outside. So I'll just tell you about it. And you've been canceled. I didn't take long. That's like shorter than most attempts. Um, I've been canceled. Do you, do you see this, man? Okay. Where can I? Whoa. That right there. there. The fucking nice yeah. that. That clock. That's a clock? Yeah, it's the Last Supper, but it's a clock. <laughs> oh, yeah, I guess we'll go off to it. <laughs> We have gone off. Else. There we go. How does that work? There we go. Oh, there's a clock. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So, you know, got all That's that. Good. That was like a good uh, goodwill find here. Oh, so do you think uh, AEW is spreading themselves too thin already? Uh, I mean, well, yeah. I mean, they have two. We'll have two shows on TV and two shows on YouTube. Yeah. I think so. I mean, you can't watch that much. You can't watch that much. I mean, you can watch that much wrestling, but then you're not watching other wrestling. 
can you can watch wrestling if you're a teenager or and younger, or if you have your cute little apartment in your mom's basement, where you're eating Cheetos, <laughs> watching <laughs> the alphabet people. Watching what? Alphabet people videos. L L B. Do they have every letter by now? I think so. I think we need to play the game. I'm going to steal this letter now. So if they have all those letters, what letters can we take? We can take O. I feel like I'm on Wheel of Fortune now. Like certain letters you can yeah. take back. And buy a U. <laughs> buy a U. What's that? Unwanted. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Jesus. That'll be no, one. Um, That's going to be one, man. Something like that. Something like unwanted or like. Um... You know, whatever. I don't know, Castaway or some shit. There's not a C yet, is there? No, probably not. There might be. Um, hey, is the Jericho match the fourth match tonight? Uh, no, it's the fifth, I think. Wait, no, maybe it's the fourth. All right. So the, the <laughs> fifth person has to be somebody big. No, it might be the fifth. Well, hold on. Let's go. So he had the death match, Hoovy. He's got Wardlow, so that's three. Who was his first opponent? Uh, Before Nick Cage. I don't remember. Yeah, so I know he's on his fourth, so tonight they'll announce the fifth one. So somehow he'll beat the odds of Wardlow and MJF. Yeah. And then he'll have to fight all four other members of the inner circle next week. Yeah. That's what I'll have it. Yeah. You know, I, you know, it's uh, it's weird, man. It's really, like, I mean, it's a good fucking storyline. I always like these ones where they have to, you know, it's a really, like, easy, relatable story to tell that anyone can fucking relate to. Like, stacked up the odds so much, you know, and this guy just wants, you know, his revenge. Um, but here's the deal. I can tell Chris Jericho's writing his own shit. Yeah. Well, because look at, look at what he's doing. He's like, oh, if you win this match, then we'll do this match, and you win this match. So, like, I mean, look, he won against Nick Gage somehow. And then the Hoobie thing, who, that was just, that's like the bathroom break match of the five rounds of Jericho or whatever it's called. But is he, is he when still signed? Are they signed? Are Nick Gage and uh, uh, Hoobie, are they signed? No, I think especially after the domino incident, Nick Gage was a one night thing. Who knows? You could come back for a battle royal. Yeah. Because, I mean, he got over, but the thing is, guys like that aren't only going to get over for like a minute <coughs> before he turns into your. <coughs> uh oh. Before he turns into your uh, Attitude Era hardcore wrestler all over again. Yeah. Walking around a trash can in the belt, waiting for Hurricane to come swinging out through some boxes and cover you. <laughs> Referee gets tired of everyone's shit. They cover him, and yeah, it's it's yeah. no. Oh, and then the other thing is, is that everyone thinks there was some war between AEW and NXT, and that AEW won the war. That's why NXT is going away. I mean, it's kind of it no... what. There's no war. I don't think there's going to be a wrestling war until Daniel Bryan, CM Punk, and other people jump ship over there and start running their mouth about how WWE really is and drops a pipe bomb over there that no one can turn the mic off to. And how fucking crazy is that going to be if that happens? I mean, everyone's been waiting, what, seven, eight years for that right now? For him to do that somewhere? Just to be able to have the mic and just go... See, I'm a big punk guy. I just think that it just – he might have waited too long. Yeah. Might well, have waited just a little too long. But then, yeah, then he has to, you know – I don't know how they're going to do the thing with him and Cabana. Like, if they had to bury the hatch. beef anymore. I, I, yeah. I wouldn't. So, no. If there is, they might play it out on TV, and then all of a sudden it's going to look like punk's going to turn on or hit Cabana, and all of a sudden they join forces again. That would be fucking pretty cool, actually. 
Yeah. But, yeah, man, I think AEW is kind of spreading themselves out thin. I mean, you got Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday. <laughs> and Monday. I mean, uh, yeah, ele- Monday. What's on Monday nights? The dark ele- elevation is Monday nights, then dark is Tuesday, and then dark, or and then the dynamite on Wednesday, and then Friday they have uh, Rampage now. Uh, we call it the Quentin Jackson show. Was it the Quinn Jackson show? Yeah. I can't even say that right now. My tongue's so swollen. Yeah. <laughs> people like Maybe people got no, that. Uh, what happened to that guy? That? He, Quentin Rampage Jackson? Yeah. What he happened? got really skinny. Really? You know, the muscle mass came out. The steroids came off. Oh, I shouldn't say that. This guy's known to fucking hunt people down and take grass. Oh, good. <laughs> Just remember, go to Utah first. Yeah, right. But, uh, My address is, uh, yep. So, no, man. Um, I don't know what's going to happen in the future for these shows. Developmental needs to start happening a lot more because a lot of these guys that are coming on the shows are just they're trash, for sure. Yeah. No training, no promo skills. I think they're just. Like, there's a kid named Parker Bordeaux. Remember what it, the guy I was talking about who looks like Brock? Yeah. I hope they don't drop the ball on that guy. Yeah. Because, uh, man, he's he's the next big thing, and he'll come out. Man, I'm getting all kinds of things on my board here. But uh, if they push him too fast, I just see him just crashing and burning or, you know, getting sick and tired of the business and saying something stupid on the mic and blowing his career. <laughs> because it looks like the same mentality as a Brock or a CM Punk kind of guy. Yeah. You can't fuck with those guys. I mean, you can. No. You're going to get it back. You're going to get it back in a way you don't want it. Yeah. And Yeah. And that's the other thing. How many of these guys are training and then Tony Khan's picking them up and they're pretty much all nice and trained, ready to go ring and yeah. doing promo. And he doesn't have to spend a dollar on that because WWE did. Don't want to pay for him anymore and let him go. Yeah. And they're like, okay, well, I'm going to go over here. And they're going to probably have to go and break most habits of sorts. Um, and maybe they're going to have to teach him how to cut a promo. <laughs> Since you, you don't really need to. You just have to. <laughs> they are going to. Over there but, right now doing. What? Who in NXT are training these guys to do promos? It's a good question. Um, I don't know. I wonder. I don't help John Gargano any any better these days. I mean, it's still the same. I, it's so hard to know if he's heel or face. Yeah, and it's been like, that way the whole week? time, except for when he, I don't know when he had that feud with. But that was like the the best part of NXT at that time was the uh, the Champa Gargano feud. It was I, I loved that story. That was it was really well told and you want I wanted to turn in every week to see what was gonna happen next. It was but I could give less of a fuck about Gargano and that's always been that way, but uh I mean I maybe it's just Trumpa is that good and he is that good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah he's really good. Yeah. But you see, and that's the other thing. He went up to the main roster and didn't for like two weeks and he came back. So uh, Gargano. <laughs> Yeah, same thing as uh, Bronson Reed. He went up to the main roster, just been up there doing some dark matches and everything, and then boom, he's gone. So, I don't know. I think there's a lot of people now that have their hand in the honeypot, do their decisions, getting rid of people, and one of those people is going to bite them in the ass in the long run. Yeah. They're going to they're gonna release a mega superstar, and it'll end up on AEW. Well, I mean, who, who have they done that with already? Uh, I mean, you can say Cody. Moxley? Moxley was pretty fucking huge. Uh, and he was the champ for a while, right? For like nine months or so. Okay. But it was just a really horrible reign. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm just, I'm not a John Moxley guy. I mean, he's all right. But yeah. he's just, he's a Nick Gage guy. Sure, I mean, he showed up, had some brawl with him. They've had history and Man, it's just once again. I, so now I, I'm going to call it pizza cutter wrestling. Now that's good. I, I like that. Um, <laughs> really, ECW. You don't like this since you were like such a big ECW guy. 
I don't. I don't because there's this. It's doing that is no better than shoving Roman Reigns down your throat. You're trying to shove down this hardcore gimmick that you have. Let it come naturally in the ring. When it's time to do the hardcore stuff, because your elbow drops, your leg drops, your punches, they're not working. Grab a chair. Yep. Get the table set up. But we're doing zero to 160, not even beyond. So what about the Dudleys? They're, it was a part of their gimmick. Well, I mean, so that's a part of Nick Cage's gimmick, though, too. His is a menagerie of broken toys <coughs> shoved in your face or your throat. So, I mean... Roman Reigns. Okay, let's talk about where they go on the outside. Six guys are standing there, and they're just waiting. Fuck that. I, 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 it's the same thing as these dumb tapes up six light bulb tubes that are going to be used. You know they're going to be used when, and then just like waiting for it, the guy has to sit there, and I see almost all these guys do it, turn around and go like this as the light bulb come. Yeah. They look like cats trying to take a shit. It's weird. And it's about as entertaining as that. Uh, but, no, I'm an ECW guy, but that crap, dude, I, it, it doesn't do it for me. It's like the backyard wrestling that, but like, worse. what? But worse. It's, it's yeah. juggalo wrestling to me. Yeah, I mean, like, the old backyard wrestling tapes that they used to have, like, 20 years ago that you could go on. Uh, you get a few of them off of TV. Do you remember those? Yeah, 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 yeah. Backyard <laughs> Wrestling 1, Series 2, Series 3. Yeah. Hey, man, thanks. I am feeling better, man. Thank you. Uh, we got Matt Goldberg here. He does uh, some oh, photography yeah. for uh, action figures. I think he's working with AEW right now in Jazzwear uh, figures, I believe so. Don't quote me on that. Oh. But uh, he does a lot of good photography. I have known him for five, six years now, somewhere in that ballpark. Oh, Don't shit. call me. I'm medicated today, thanks to all my doctors. <laughs> but, um, no, back to some wrestling. Dude, Nick Gage is just a flash in a pan sort of kind of deal. Yes. He 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 does uh, confirm he works with Jazzwares right now. Well, what Check is out Matt Goldberg. He's, uh, he's, you can find him on Twitter. You can find him on IG. You can find him on Facebook. He does photography for action figures, man, and he uh, does great stuff. Yeah, so he's working with Jazzwares on AEW. Okay, cool. Well, uh, I'll grab a link from him, and then we'll link him into this video. We'll yeah. In a bit. Um, oh, real fast, you need to start calling IG. You need to call it IG. Yeah, that's me. Oh, I should have done that. Well, no, no. For like, like, for like a thing, for, you know, when, when you're talking about the old Instagram, be mm -hmm. like, yeah, you know, this is on, uh, yeah, IG. Yeah, that's me. Um, you know, so, okay, anyway, go ahead. That was my stupid little side note. Oh, dude, you're all, I was just trying to get comfy again. Um, what were we talking about? Uh, well, we were talking about how you're going to link him. You're going to link, um, Matt in there yeah. into the video. We about wrestling, some, probably some bad wrestling. Oh, yeah, we were talking yeah. about, yeah, we got, well, I mean, yeah, Nick Cage threw us off with his. Oh, there we go. Devin. Now we're back to it again. See, I was trying to block it out. That's what it was. I got it. You know, um, make some money real quick out there on a pizza cutter. You can definitely do that. Um, but otherwise, no, it's overdone. I don't like the light bulb thing. Some tacks are okay. Barbed wire is okay when it's done every so often. Terry Funk does it the right way. <laughs> what do you mean? Every so like often? Yeah, like. He's always had the eye gimmick where he's like, oh, my eye, my eye, and then it starts bleeding, comes back out looking like a pirate all bandaged up and then sets something on fire and everything. There's, it's fine. I just, when you're making it night in, night out, yeah, it's, it's not special, just like anything else. Yeah. And so when, it, it's trash, man. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm with that. There should be a reason why people are having, you know, like if the – Leg drops are, you know, elbows and, you know, kicks and punches. If that's not working, yeah, then go grab something. 
or, you know, put them in a cage, like someone that's been like, you know, escaping with, with something or, you know, so they always have someone at the ring with them who's doing some sort of tomfoolery and, uh, and that's when you bring the cage in. That's when you bring the cage in. There's, there's be a reason for things. And it does, you're having I, hell in a cell for no reason these days. I hate it. I hate that. I, I don't want to see a hell in a cell match just because like they should have a, don't have a fucking, going off the top of it. or TLC. Don't have a TLC match for no reason. That's why I always say though no one can top TLC too. Right. So TLCs they're they're great if we do them once in a while still, but it will never be as special as WrestleMania seventeen. Yeah. I mean that match is up there. In my in my opinion anyway. Yeah. It's in my top ten matches of all time. Yeah, it was a fucking cool ass match, man. So but um yeah, I mean I'm a new jack guy. Okay. And he did some crazy stuff with a stapler. I mean he used a pizza cutter. But it, it was the way it was done. He also did stuff in an entertaining way. Like when the music went off, Natural Born Killers, when that went off, you knew, dude, and the X's all came out. Everyone's all doing this, and it got crazy. Someone's going to get hit in the nuts either with a vacuum, a keyboard, a golf club, a wiffle ball bound. I mean, he had it all. He had tongs one night. Oh. So, yeah, that guy, that'll be a – we should do – a show just about like some superstars coming up, maybe one just about New Jack and all of his incidences. Um, I watched uh, the documentary, man. I, I I'd be scared to sit in a room with that guy. Yeah, I mean, like he cuts you from ear to ear. Yeah, That's but good. otherwise, I heard his. Yeah, I mean, you just gotta be on his good side. Don't be a fucking this person you can't be a fucking dick to, or you can't fuck over. You just gotta know that. You know, I know people like that. I know people that I'm, you know, friends with or acquaintances with. Like, you just don't do this to that person. Like, if you do that, it's gonna probably be some shit that's gonna happen. Um, you know, I'm, I I get it. I get why you you know people are that way. It makes sense. So, um, so yeah. you know, I don't know, man. Um, I don't want to see it again anytime soon. And kind of like I said, Chris Jericho's writing his own bullshit. So that makes Chris Jericho look super tough. He just won a death match. And then he has his, uh, I mean, it was the way I took Hoobie was something from his past. You can't get Dean Malenko because uh, we're we're two in the same boat these days. Got some metal brackets all up in there. And then uh, who else from Jericho's past was on WCW? Uh, well, you can't bring Ray because he's on the other show. Oh yeah. Oh, oh dude, do you see Dominic turning on Ray Mysterio soon? <clears throat> Maybe. I mean, eventually it's going to happen. Well, I mean, it doesn't have to happen. I mean, it, it should, and if it should be, I mean, it shouldn't be. Actually, I don't know. Seeing Ray turn it on Dominic, I think, could be kind of a cool thing that no one would really expect. And more people would expect it coming, like, that's usually the story that's told, is that it's the student turning on the teacher. It's rarely the teacher turning on the student. Um. But I'm thinking, like, I don't know, like Bachwinkle and shit. Yeah, I don't know. That's, I don't know why I went to Bachwinkle. <laughs> uh, Dominic should sit there and not uh, nego- get a new contract and show up on AEW with uh, Chavo Guerrero. Okay, Chavo was there in WCW. Yeah, he was there. That could have been another one, but I think Chavo's done, done now. Yeah, I mean, last time I. He's on the concussion issues. I think. Don't quote me on that. Because he did Glow, and then he did an episode you, of yeah. Grimm, um, where that was that was an interesting thing. So I went to this show, or that was a show. It was, they were filming an episode of Grimm, and <clears throat> man, it, they had, they hired a stunt guy to work with Chavo. And man, it was it was hard to watch. Like I'd be yelling shit after each cut, like which was fucked up because I was just like an extra. And I'm like, 
post higher on his fucking thigh, you know, or, you know, <laughs> him trying to flip over and shit, or, you know, him trying to, I forgot what it was. I, I want to say there was a monkey flip in there or something. And, um, man, if you go back and watch that episode, um, I think there's one episode. No, also the way that they made that shit look, um, for that episode, like that would be, fucking cool it looked a lot like it's you know what was that what's that fucking thing down in uh la the lucha thing they have down there oh i can't think of the name of it oh i can't think no, i know what you're talking Bavoom? about lucha Bavoom, is that right or is there some Dude, I can't think it's some, something like that or one of those things like that, but it's, um, it's hard, man. It's, I don't know. I don't know why, why that's like a thing now. I lost what I was saying. Oh, you're all good. You're all good. You're talking about uh, wrestling down South. Oh, oh so that's the other oh, thing. Oh, yeah. The, um, so they had a, like made it looking like it was like some, Mexican lucha show with like, and they had like the big fucking banners of people hanging from the ceilings. Like that's a fucking cool look, you know, like they have like the huge fucking banners are like. Like a Coliseum look kind of. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. The, yeah. It, it was, it's so if you ever go back and watch that episode, man, it was cool. And I was like, man, they should have fucking whatever fucking promotion in Portland should have bought all that shit and ran that fucking I don't remember where it was. I forgot where they filmed that at. Um, See, that's part of the problem with shows, man, is that they're just <laughs> going in the wrong direction setting up shows. Like, you're talking about how just – you're not even talking about wrestling itself. You're talking about the look of how it looks in, you know, the yeah. arena or the Coliseum, dude. That's – and this sounds – there are going to be some people that totally relate to me on this, and there's going to be a song where like, dude, what the fuck are you talking about? We'll go back to ECW, Hammerstein Ballroom. That has a a, a feeling to it because it also had Monday Night Raw there. It was close quarter. It felt closer. It felt, I don't know, just not more real, just more natural, more close up, I guess, raw or whatever you want to call it. Um, And then you go to those big arenas or outside arenas where you're like, yeah, big outside stadium. It's going to have lots of people. It's going to look awesome. And it looks like shit. Yeah, it's like working in a fucking Walmart parking lot. Yeah, dude. It's just it like infinite space, and you have to run and fucking hide from drug dealers that are trying to kill you. And Speaking of Walmart. <laughs> oh, yeah? Shout out to the fat, stinky motherfucker on a fucking soda aisle over in Tigard Walmart. Take a shower, you motherfucker. You stank up the whole entire aisle. That was nasty. Oh, damn. No, oh, yeah, dude, we went there. They had a hillbilly guy in uh, overalls, and uh, he was at – his Walmart aisles are pretty long. He was at one end. Me and the fam just came around the other to grab some soda real quick. We almost fell over, dude. Whoa. It, it was, like, concentrate white trash smell, like, okay. from concentrate. Yeah. Like, you put it in one of those little, like – Cylinder things that you keep in the freezer, and you open it up, and you put in the the old pitcher where it had like the uh, the the pumpster thing that it, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, dude. We used to drink that shit back in the day, man. Uh, when we were kids, like we had that shit a lot because yeah, there were four kids and shit. So yeah, I remember the fucking frozen concentrate you know, orange juice and fucking uh, all. Yeah, fuck it. I, I don't think I've had it since I've grown up, since I've been 18, <laughs> I think. And I don't think I probably ever um, But then I also had a, a phase where I was drinking uh, hot tang. So, um, Ew, know, dude, uh, what the fuck? Did I ever tell you about this? No. When I, when I was in, uh, I forgot where I was. Hot. Dang, this will be interesting. Well, like, so I was in... A bad porno. Yeah, some, yeah right? I, I was somewhere in, in China, and, like, they had, like, it said, like, orange juice or something, 
But like in China, they don't fucking do cold drinks. Like you can't get like ice water and shit. I mean, it was fucking like I was there in September, and like you get like hot water to drink with your hot ass fucking Chinese food, man. Like it was really、That's、weird.、Gross. Yeah, and so like, but so you know those like they、uh, they have them like on these juice machines, like like、uh, that you get like when you're at a continental breakfast type of thing, where it, like comes down like boom 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 boom. So it looks like、uh, that was crazy. Your voices sound like all robotic machine coming through my、uh, phone. There, that was great. That was what I was doing. That's what it's supposed to sound like.、Uh, nice. Yeah, it was、uh, it was some crazy shit, man. Like,、um, but so they had this stuff, and I'm like, oh, okay, cool. It's like orange juice or something.、And、then it comes out, and it's fucking hot, and like, I'm like, it tastes like tang. And so, but it was like, it's good. It wasn't. It wasn't great. So I went home and I I buy things of it. I buy like the canister of tang. I need. Drink tang, growing up. Oh, I take that back. At church, they'd have it at the end of church. You'd get tang and donuts, and that was like that was kind of how they fucking.、Uh, my parents got me <sighs> go to church. It's like、oh, at the end you can have donuts and orange juice, but、uh, man, fuck, that was not worth it. But so. <laughs> You heat up tang though. If you heat up tang, it's fucking pretty good, man. It's a,、uh, it's a cool drink. It's pretty sugary, so it kind of sucks though,、um, how you feel later. But when you're drinking it, it's pretty fucking tasty. So hot tang shout out. <laughs> And I think that's probably that、oh. is going to be、uh, right about how anyone can do that. Oh, speaking of, so that last show we did.、Um, I believe it's called、uh, "Handsome Squidward." The last show we did, and it's like find find the handsome Squidward in、uh, in the episode. But oh shit, yeah, we'll see if I, we'll see if we can find it、um, or someone else can find it. But yeah, that was、oh. that. <clears throat> oh, I see what I got to fix today. What's that? I, fix <laughs> I have to fix another one today. It's gonna be fun. What what was Were you doing knife hits? No, someone had an accident and left something on the oven when they、Five、shouldn't、foot? have, and it went to the burner. So I gotta either fix the burner or get a new one. Is it plastic? Yes. Ah,、oh, do you got you gotta get a new one? Yeah. It's that smell's gonna be on there forever.、Um, I've I've had that happen with me too. I've I've done it. And、uh, I tried for a while, and you think it burns off eventually, but it doesn't. It doesn't. I've never.、Fun. I'll so, just tell you that it was not me. Yeah. Well, it, yeah.、Uh, no, I got a lot of work to do this week, especially for wrestling. I mean, homework for wrestling and everything like that, man. So I got to do.、Uh, so I'm going to do AEW tonight.、I'll、definitely watch SmackDown. So. How does it go this week? It'll go SmackDown, and then Rampage is on right after SmackDown. Yeah, I think、okay. so. Man, that's gonna be—it's gonna be the Monday Night War kind of deal all over again. Just not the back and forth. Just getting over to the other channel to see what the big deal is for the show. Yeah, yeah, I have to agree. They got to do something big on the show because why? Why would I want to switch over to another hour of wrestling from a show that? I mean, as it stands right now, is below WWE. As people would see it, yeah.、Um, I'm not saying. I'm just saying most people would say it. Yeah, I don't know, man. I I think they got <laughs> something. Something's got to happen with that shit to start it off, or you know, yeah. If like, I'm trying to remember the first SmackDown episode, but I don't.、Um, whenever that probably. Well, here's what we can do. Let's look at where we're at now, and then by Christmas. See who's all funneled in.、So、that's like four months. You'd have Punk, Daniel Bryan, or I gotta get used to Brian Danielson. Yeah. And then you're probably gonna have Adam Cole. And then 
Lana will probably show up. Yeah. We forgot about Wyndham. Oh, yeah. Wyndham and Adam Shear, a.k.a. Braun Strowman. So, you got all that coming, dude. And that's where it's going to make a break if uh, AEW can take off. Because if you can't take off with those superstars, then uh, we got a problem. I'm knocking things down back here. This is awesome. You're what? I'm knocking all my shit up. Oh, over. Okay. So, check these out. I don't know if I showed you these ones. You can see yeah. them on our site. Fucking cool. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, dude. Oh, shit. I'm going to do G.I. Joe ones. I got some Back to the Future. So, well, okay. Like So, yeah, this week, finally, everything will be up and running. And then I'll uh, link links into the IG, to the show. Everybody can check out all the new gear coming up. So, but yeah. um, no, dude. What is the next big show? What is the next pay-per-view? The uh, AEW show? Well, I mean, it, it doesn't count. I don't think those count. I don't, like, it seems like fucking every week is a pay-per-view. Like, they have some name for the stuff, it seems like, for every other week. Because, um, I don't know, well, I can't tell what's pay-per-view really anymore either. We got SummerSlam coming up, which is on a Saturday. Good. That's on a Saturday, so... Why would they be on a Saturday? Right. It's in Vegas, too, as well. Uh, so, that'll be an interesting uh, show. You got John Cena and his in-ring pay-per-view return. Who's he working so, Roman Reigns. That's right. I don't... Is it a triple threat? So, because Finn Balor got screwed out of it. Oh, really? Stinky Finn Balor. He's stinky? My daughter says he stinks. She took a picture with him one time and she said he smelled like shit. I'm just saying. That's what I was told. Not, I am not uh, going to confirm any of that. Yeah, you haven't sniffed him enough. No. Hey, maybe Velveteen Dream will show up on AEW Sunny Kiss. That would be a good one. Yeah. It, oh, it, did you see the pictures of Havoc? No. Look up Jimmy Havoc right now. Yeah? Oh, I can't do it right and now. I can't. Oh. He's a... He's in, like, salesman. He's got, a, like, a, a red polo on. And his hair is kind of, like, fluffed up and combed. and Because I guess he's fully retired now. It's all over. Yeah, let me see if I can get this picture of him. Yeah. It is uh, pretty fucked up. And then, uh... What was it? Oh, you know what's going on with New Japan? <clears throat> what's going on with it? Who's our champion right now? Is it still Will Ospreay? Like the is he's the champion, like the main champion? Yeah. The heavyweight champion? That can't be right. Wow, oh, here we go. Gotta go into the Google. Yeah, you gotta check out this picture of Jimmy Havoc, man. All right, it's, it's, uh, it's not nice. It's funny. It is. Who is the champ right now? Most brain, shortest, first, youngest, most, oldest, final. No. Who is the current? Uh, I can't even say that name. That's not fair. How do you spell it? Shingo. Shingo. Man, that's not fair, man. These these letters don't go together. Shingo T A K A G I. Takachi. Takachi. Sure. Yeah. He's the fucking champ. Uh IW World Heavyweight Champion. Yep, it has him and then Lance Archer's the US. Jay White's the never open weight. Oh yeah. Jay Tom Waller. Is the one who I can see coming over too. Day, Jay White? Yeah. So who has the rights to Bullet Club? Uh, New Japan. New Japan does. Yep. And so that's where they're using the storyline of, uh, I think, like Tonga and all them kind of fighting over it at this point? Um, maybe. I do. I have not watched New Japan for a while. I have the fucking channel. I just haven't, I haven't watched, dude. It's... Uh... I don't know why. 
I guess I haven't had enough time to add that one to the rotation. Yeah, no, I got to still get that calendar together and put everything up. Oh, now someone else is beeping in. Oh, it's Amazon. Oh, good. It's grocery. Yeah, yeah, they deliver now. They weren't delivering for a while because anything with forest fires or rain or even oxygen outside Amazon will put a delay on my deliveries. Well, now it's, it's, uh, is it in a couple days the Oregon's going back fully masked? Oh, good. All right. So we'll put wrestling to the side for a second. And anyone who's curious about how Oregon works and what it's like, I'm about to describe that. Good. So first off, we all know that Oregon decided to make, um, I don't know, every drug pretty much legal here. So you can do any drug here and not get in trouble. They just say, hey, you got to go to rehab and you get a $100 ticket. And then before we get down to the new mask mandates again, uh, the governor decided to take away math, writing, and reading from high school requirements to graduate. Right? It happened. It, I... <laughs> It fucking you don't need shit to graduate, right? <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, and now we're going back to mass mandates. I think it actually starts today. I'm not sure. I, it could. Uh, that might be right. It might have been Wednesday. Um, that might be right. It's fucking... I ordered more hand sanitizer and uh, masks, but I'm quarantined anyway. I'm, I can't go out anywhere oh, for shit. another 10 days. Oh. Uh, well of oh. this bad boy. They don't want me to get infected. Yeah. Well, so, I, but, I heard yeah. Too that Washington, like, they have that same rule as Oregon. I, like, in the state now, um, cops can't come after you if you're, like, burglarizing a place, like, private property. Um, if you have um, domestic violence, they won't come. If you have, like, a restraining order and someone is violating it, they won't come. Um, oh, what? Yeah. They have this in, like, in Portland, you can't do it. Like, they won't, like, um, there's, like, hardly any, like, reason, like, that you need, or no, there's only, like, a small number of things if you're a, a cop in Portland that you can pull someone over for. Um, like, you yeah, can't. I know you can't pull too many people over, like, for, like, speeding tickets and everything right now. Because most of the cops walked away here. <laughs> they walked away? Yeah, in all different, like, uh, departments here. So, like, I know Walton lost a couple there, as the Tiger did too, but hopefully things get better. Just put military in there with some tanks. Everyone will listen then. I'm surprised. Some red stars on the side of the tanks. <laughs> I'm surprised martial law hasn't happened yet. I'm surprised it's not a thing. I don't know. I think this time, if it's going to happen, it'll be this time around, just because we're going to another lockdown. Government will see to that. We're, we we didn't listen and follow directions, so now we're going to have to be forced to stay inside. Yep. They gave us our chance, like kids. But and no, and then uh, So that's the interesting thing, because SummerSlam, I heard, was going to be canceled, and then it wasn't going to have an audience. And now with COVID or Delta, Echo, Gamma yeah. running around now, dude, fucking... Is it going to shut down more shit and cancel out more stuff? Yeah, and like uh, the DOA show, I doubt that's going to happen. I was just uh, talking to Tracy the other day, saying like, hopefully we'll be there, and all that, and showed her a picture of the kids now. She was like, oh, Jesus. I was like, yeah, they're all growing up, all growing up, very yeah. quickly. But um, no, so unfortunately, my throat's about to go out, so I can't do a long one today, so... But uh, I want to write a big show for next week. I'm going to do some homework. I'm going to watch some Bobby Eaton this week. <laughs> big show. Um, yeah, I'm going to definitely put some Bobby Eaton. And then also, let's make time on the next show to do two watch-along. One for Lex Luger, one for Steamboat. Okay. Um, we'll do one in the beginning to wake up or fall asleep to. Yeah. And then uh, we'll do a middle one and see if we can actually get someone on the second video to watch it with us as an actual either Steamboat or Luger fan, which I will always laugh at. Yeah. I don't believe they exist. Yeah. I don't believe at all. They're mythical. Weirdos. But, um, 
yeah, man, I gotta, I definitely gotta catch up. Oh, and I want to sit there and say, everyone, thank you, thank you, thank you for uh, sending all the love my way while I was uh, under the knife getting my surgery on Friday. Everyone uh, from the Threadhead family shouted out to me, and that was awesome. It was a good yeah. time. Well, yeah, man, so, like, it's like when Hulk got um, crushed. Was that what happened when he got crushed by Earthquake? Yoko? Was it Yoko? Earthquake or Yoko? I don't know. There's a few people that sat on people back in the day for sure. So, I mean, even Damien. Damien's gone now, too. Yeah. You know, I got a lot of shows, and then, uh, like I said, I got some surprises coming this week. Or this weekend, I should say. My days are a little fucked up, thanks to some prescriptions. But it'll right. get a little bit better from here on out. And then, uh, yeah, otherwise, anyone who was wondering, surgery went well. Didn't even know it happened. I uh, woke up way dazed and confused. And uh, disclaimer now, about to get close up. Anyone that's wheezy, turn your head. But this is where we're at today. That's what they did right there. They went in there, and somehow they put a plate in that bad boy back there and some screws. And, uh, uh. yeah. I, I can turn. I'm doing all right. Just really sore. Feel like I got a really bad uh, whiplash effect. Yeah, but but um, I start feeling better. No, dude. I, I have seen some others, man. That's actually pretty clean compared yeah. to some other people's I've seen. And I was like, oh, oh, dude, if mine looks like that, that's gross. And But, yeah, no, my doctor did an awesome job. She was there uh, pretty much after I woke up. And everything went really well. Six <laughs> hours, by the way. Six hours. Whoa. That was just for a level one. Yeah, it was like five hours, six hours for a level one disectomy and fusion. Holy shit. And dude, when you wake up, make sure you get those pain pills running. It sucks. It sucks so bad. And Funny. eating sucks. You didn't have it? When you, you didn't have them? You didn't have pain pills when you woke up? Oh, I did. Oh, I don't know if you can see my hand. See how bruised that is? There's one IV mark. Oh, shit. Then they, then they stuck the other one in the side here. Oh. And they were drawing blood constantly. And then, oh, and then I got these 12 electrodes with these half inch needles on them all over my body. What was that for? I don't know, man. They, I felt like I was abducted by aliens. Yeah. Maybe like they abducted me, they put some like instruments inside of me and made me all better yeah could have been could have been Have what i just realized is i drank two of these damn monster coffee drinks in just about an hour stuff. so you're probably pretty all right right now probably got some food in you oh yeah i'm gonna try some eggs today i don't know yeah i'm nervous but gonna yeah. get some food in but um yeah otherwise i think uh don't be an asshole. Not you, but everyone else. Don't well, be an asshole. I get to be an asshole today. Well, good. What's today? I don't know, going down to the grocery store, being an asshole to the people in my way. Do you have to wear a mask? Yeah. And I'm not supposed to be around anyone anyway, but I'm going to go down there and check it out. I just need to get the hell out of my house. I forgot. Yeah, really and it's going to be 107 degrees, so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. But, yeah, no. Everyone be good to each other. Yeah. Uh, I'm so fucking tired of turning on the news and be like, Sh shooting, 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 shooting. Transgender walks in women's bathroom. Shooting, shooting, shooting. It's just nonstop. Chicago and. Oh, man. Oh, by the way, shout out to Chicago police officers for turning their back on the mayor. That's awesome. I was just uh, in court in Chicago this morning. Uh, yeah? Zoom call. Yeah. My, the person, so this was over a year ago um, when I was coming back from Michigan and uh, someone hit me in Chicago. Someone, like, sideswiped me. Um, and they never, like, because I didn't have um, full coverage insurance. I only had liability. Yeah. So this person never responded to the claim. And so, like, since I'm 
Uh, but it was like my insurance found that it was their fault that they were gotcha. out and it wasn't me. But this person never responded to the fucking insurance like at all. So like this is sitting around for fucking months and, um, and nothing's happening. Nothing at all is fucking happening. And then finally they're like, like, well, we couldn't get a hold of him. Like he never responded. So it's just dropped. So I had to go after him like myself um, because then the insurance company is like, well, we can't do anything now. Like, it's so like this guy and then so and then he didn't go and show up but like i don't think either of the hearings that i've had and then today his attorney showed up and um so now I, but i'm representing myself because i'm like i don't know i could still lose but it's like i, I don't know yeah. i'm not going to pay for an attorney like i feel I should, I mean, like, with this guy not responding to any of these things at all, like, I think that seems like an admission of guilt. And so it's going to be with, like, a jury and shit. So, I mean, um, I don't know. I think that's going to be kind of difficult. Hopefully, so now the lawyer is talking with me directly since I'm representing myself. So he might try to, his like, lawyer? his lawyer. And I don't have a lawyer. I'm my own lawyer. Um, I, I, just, I just hear the court music going off in my head. Dan, Dan, Dan. Yeah. I hear all that right now. As you're walking into the courtroom, you got like your briefcase and shit, dude. Dan, 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 Dan. Fucking just walking on in. I'm going to bring my briefcase. Even though I'm probably, probably going to be doing it in here. In, in my house. I'm glad I don't have to fucking travel to Chicago for this shit either. I can just do it um, online. I'd be so pissed if I had to go back out there. How how far of a drive is that? From here? Yeah. Uh, I don't even fucking know. Maybe like, I don't know, 16 hours, maybe longer. It's, um, yeah, it's, it's pretty far. I mean, from where I was living, it was like six or so hours to Chicago from southern Minnesota. But, yeah, now I got a fucking, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I'm Because it, like, totaled my car is what happened when it got sideswiped. It, it was my van. And just the front passenger window, that braking pretty much totaled my car. It's kind of bullshit. So, um, but I've gotten a new car, or new-to-me car since then. So, but then I haven't gotten paid for any of the damages for um, the minivan. Like, so that's what this is all about. And yeah, this was fucking like 13 months ago. It, I think it was last July. I'm pretty sure when I went there. Um, yeah. So who knows? But anyway. People are assholes, dude. You know. and that's kind of like what we talk about is the, the best thing that person could have done is like work with you. Now yeah. it's costing more time, more money, more headaches, and that this will go on the person's record, man. I mean, whether it's a criminal charge or not, it's going to be on their little information in life that they've gone to court and they've had an issue where they, you know, didn't reach out to the. I guess you you would be the victim; they would be the suspect. So. Yeah, yeah, and like, yeah. any like I I don't know if he can get insurance now, like car insurance. For just, I wouldn't give him fucking insurance if I was an insurance company. Yeah. No way. Yeah. Like, so I, I don't know where else he's going to have to pay some fucking crazy premium, but like, yeah, dude, just, I don't know. Cause like, and I called his insurance company and like, we can't do shit. I'm like, what do you mean you can't fucking do shit? Like, I'm like, this is your fucking person. But so maybe that's why it's good to have full coverage insurance. But, you know, when you don't, then you got to do shit like this, so. Learning lessons. <clears throat> Me and the wife just went over one of, over the last couple of years to, with a house and stuff and got to learn a lot, deal with yeah. a bunch of stuff. It's been a headache, but uh, hopefully things are getting better. Yeah. But, yeah, no, man, that's the problem with this world nowadays. Too many people are busy pointing the finger telling you what you did wrong. And as they do something wrong, they don't even own up to the shit. Right. 
That's why I'll say this. Seth Rogen, you're guilty of some fucked up shit out there. Because you keep running to everyone's fucking aid going, oh, this person was picked on. That's wrong. And I did, like, there's something going on. Him and Jonah Hill, man, they're, they're wrecking me. There's something going on. <clears throat> they're they're probably- blowing the whistle and saying what everybody's done is wrong, but they've done something bigger. It's yeah. me out. Same as Joe Rogan, man. Yeah. Joe Rogan trying to creep me out. Same thing. I could see that. I could see either one of those or any one of those three. Just yeah. come up as a Jared Fogel. Yeah. <clears throat> we found this on his laptop like I fucking told you. Yeah. The uh, oh, uh, that South Park game. Like you gotta one of the things you gotta do is you gotta <laughs> you gotta go against Jared. <laughs> Um, Seriously? Uh huh. Jared's one of the fucking like final bosses in the uh, fractured butthole. Oh god. Yeah. Video games these days. I cannot believe I'm saying that. I feel old now. Well, I mean, I am old, but yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. What? What a month! I'll tell you that. Yeah. Right. I'm a grandparent. I turned forty, and I got fusion surgery on my neck. It's it's been an eye opener. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, no. Uh, we'll come back with some watch longs. We'll come back with a solid full show. This we we will call this the raw groggy show. Back from surgery. Yeah. Post op podcast. Oh. Uh, yeah, that sounded kind of sexy, but uh, yeah, mean at the same. Time. That was yeah. Weird. Not as paid. Three ninety nine a man. Ouch. Yeah, so I'm going to catch up on wrestling. Otherwise, everyone will be good to each other. Do something yeah. good for each other. Keep each other cool if you're in the Northwest this weekend. Yeah. Because, uh, can... We lost 117 people during the last heat wave that we just had a couple months ago. Yeah. Still haven't seen a picture of a single fucking person on there, but, you know. Yeah. Well, hey, all the people who uh, talk about how uh, nice you are and how much you love homeless people. Invite someone into your house while it's fucking hot out. Give them some water. Give them some water. Hopefully Especially not. Especially the pooches. Yeah. So All the cats and dogs out there, leave some water out for those guys this weekend if you're in the Northwest. Yeah. They'll yeah. be burning up. I saw a dog with shoes on, man. It's that good. shit is cool. It's a good fucking idea. For that it shit. is. It's crazy because you look on one side of the street and you see a dog with shoes on. Yeah. You look on the other side of the street and there's a human being with no shoes. It's really, really fucking weird here in Portland. Yeah. What, <laughs> what, what do you expect? The fuck the dog's got a couple pair of LeBron Nikes on. Homeless guy ain't got shit. Stuff for some 99 cent flip flops from Walmart. Fuck no, man. Same 98 as- cents. Sorry. Oh, sorry. You get, oh. It's a discount. It is, a penny. Yeah, it's a lot of pennies. Save it up, that stinky bastard in the fucking Walmart can buy some shampoo. Yeah, and some deodorant. Yeah. Maybe, maybe just a bar of soap. Maybe a bar of soap would probably be good, like uh, the Irish Spring or something, like one of those, that's like you see at the dollar store. The motherfucker needs the Irish Ocean, bro. Not yeah. just the spring. He needs the Irish Ocean. Don't even pay this ass. Oh, it was gross. I should have filmed it. I was gagging. But, uh, no. Oh, I was going to say for October, we should do a uh, feature weeks, man. We should cover Halloween Havoc. Sure. All month long in, on, uh, oh, and we could do Hell in a Cell. That was in Halloween. Was or it? October at one point. At one point, they switched them around. TLC was during Christmas, I thought, at one point. Now they switched that around. Oh. See, yeah, I, I don't even know. Yeah, I couldn't tell you right now, man. I'm. Who too knows? much wrestling, too much going on. But anyway, I'm going to get out of here. Everyone take care of yourselves. Do something good for each other. At least yeah. a high five. A high five goes a long fucking way. Yeah, man. Uh, Don't be hugging each other. You're going to be a como. Yeah. Yeah. Be careful. <laughs> That's all a bitch guy is. Yeah. Anyway, I'm out of here. I'm G. Yeah, that's me. I'm Rusty Diamond there with Al Borland. And, uh, I feel that's what I remember, man. Like, uh, yeah, uh-huh. yeah, yeah, that was pretty good, man. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we'll see you next week, folks. Take care. Later. Hey.